to make a chole i have a one cup of garbanzo beans or chole i have soaked this overnight and i'm going to pressure cook this for about six to eight whistle and we also need following ingredients one medium chopped onion two medium chopped tomatoes one tablespoon jeera one tablespoon garlic paste one tablespoon ginger paste one and a half tablespoon of um, chole masala or garam masala half tablespoon of red chili powder one tablespoon of kasuri methi and one tablespoon of dhania jeera powder two tablespoon of butter or you can use ghee and salt to taste we also need cilantro or hara dhania to garnish some bay leaves turmeric powder and half tablespoon of ketchup here i have a uh, garbanzo beans in a pressure cooker i'm going to add a little salt close the lid and cook it for about 6 to 8 whistle here i have cooked for about 8 to 9 whistles and now we are going to um, make the gravy here i have a, a pan um, and it's hot i'm going to add butter here the butter is hot i'm going to add cumin seeds now add chopped onions we're going to saute for like 3 to 4 minutes now cover for 2 to 3 minutes now it changes color now we're going to add tomatoes We also going to add ginger paste and garlic paste. Now we're going to cover this until the all the tomatoes are almost melt, like about three to four minutes. Now the tomatoes almost melt. Now we're going to let this cool. Turn off the heat. Let this cool and we're going to blend this. Okay, now my uh, onions and tomatoes are cooled off and I'm going to blend this in a blender. Now this is a basic uh, curry paste. Okay. Here my curry paste is ready. Now this is the basic curry paste that you can use in all your curry dishes. Now take a pan and heat 1 tablespoon of butter. When butter is hot, add bay leaves. And the curry paste you blend it. turmeric powder red chili powder dhania jeera powder
tomato ketchup. Now you need to cook until all the butter is separated. Now the butter is separated. Now I'm going to add the chole. Now add kasuri methi. And the chole masala. Stir it nice, and you're going to add some salt. Cook this until all the water has evaporated and the gravy becomes thick. It has come to a boil and it's all um, really nice gravy and it's ready. Now we're going to serve this. Your chole is ready and I'm going to garnish this with cilantro. You can serve this with the paratha, naan or puri. Enjoy this delicious chole with rice.